So our first question comes from Kelly from Hamilton who asks the question, I have to go for my driving test soon, but I get confused with turning my wheels when parking on a hill. Do you have any tips? Well, Kelly, I do actually. Now there are some driving instructors that use little acronyms to, to help like up, up and away and whatever the case is, but that didn't really work a lot for me to be able to tell people and basically tell you what it meant. So think of it this way. The purpose of turning your wheels when parking on a hill is so that if the gear selector slips and the car starts to roll, the vehicle's gonna stop against the side of the road. So think of it this way. The front wheels are the ones that steer out and the back wheels stay flush within the vehicle. So you want your front wheels to touch the curb if the vehicle were to roll. So if you're going downhill and you have a curb on your right, you should turn your wheels to the right. So just visualize that in your head a little bit and determine if the car moved forward, which, would I, would, which way would I turn my wheels? That's gonna help you figure out uh, what you're gonna do with it. Now, secondly, if you're going up a hill, and some people get confused with it when it's going up a hill, uh, which way do I turn my wheels if I have a curb on my right? So think of it this way. Your car is rolling backward and visualize turning your wheels right and then turning left. So if you turn the wheels to the right, it's your back wheels that would touch the curb, but the front of the car is gonna stick out quite a bit from the edge of the road. But if you turn the wheels to the left, they'll stick out a bit more than the back wheels would. So that means they're gonna touch the curb sooner and therefore stop you uh, with the curb from rolling down the hill. So turning the wheels left is not gonna put your vehicle too far out of position. Now, what happens if you don't have a curb at all? Well, you're always gonna turn the wheels to the right. That way you're gonna roll towards the edge of the road, the ditch, whatever's there, and not down the hill to uh, collide with another vehicle or even a pedestrian. So I hope that does help you. Practice it, do it a few times, get comfortable with it before you take your driving test, and I'm sure you'll do great. So thanks for the question.